Here we go again. B Magic also running off with deposits, stealing people money. Then the audacity of this guy to try to come up with reasons of why he steal and take from people. You a thief. B Magic, you are a thief, man. And you are a liar. And you are a shifty, grimy dude, man. You dudes, man, have no backbones, man. These are just cowardly moves. I call them cowardly moves. You know why I call them cowardly moves? Because you are a coward anytime you can steal from somebody and then try to act gangster when you're not around them and then you're blocking people. You done stole this woman money. Now you're blocking the woman. You know what I'm saying? But you wanted the woman to... You shifty. You a dirty dude. But you know what happened? Let me just give you some game. Just... All, all them bars you write, all that intellectual, them cold metaphors you be using, you never come across what you put out there, come back to get you, fam? Do you really think you're going to get away with stealing people money, man? You got that bad, dude. You, you're a shifty dude, man. Then you wonder why all these things coming. They're going to come back to you. I guarantee you, make no mistake about it. See, these brothers under the impression when they steal from somebody or take from somebody, that uh, uh, um, they not going to see them again. Right. That may be true, but that curse still follow you. You might not see that woman again, but because you stole from her, the curse of being a thief is on you, which means that people going to steal from you. People going to take from you. Things going to break down in your house more expensive than what you took from her. If you got a car, get ready for your engine to go out. So that 1500 you stole, now you got to put 2000 in your car. Or trust me when I tell you, you cannot escape. You cannot escape the law of God. It don't matter what you think. It don't matter what you believe in. You don't get away with it and to, unless you make that situation right. So I guarantee you and I promise you, probably since you've been stealing from that woman, what's been happening to you? You may end up losing your woman. You may end up losing your freedom. You may end up losing your health. You may end up losing the rest of your finances. You may end up getting in trouble with other people. You cannot escape the curse. You dudes ignorant as hell, man. Y'all some shifty dude. People trying to look out for y'all and y'all trying to cut people hands off that looking out for y'all. That go to show you, look how dirty and shifty these guys is. Look at their nature and character. Think about that, y'all. Here is guys who getting checks from people on good faith that looking out for them and they running off with the money and taking off and not showing up. That's shifty as hell. You cast dirty. And it really shows, man, how fake you guys is and why you just don't have a successful life. You bogus. You can't even be loyal to yourself. You can't even be true to yourself. Y'all can't even be, 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 be respectful to the people around y'all, man. That's crazy, man. How dirty and shifty you guys are, man. I, I can't stand thieves, man. I, I'm keeping it real. I can't stand the thief. I hate when people even steal something little from me, man. I be wishing I could call them when they done it. I can't stand the thief, man. That's shifty, man. That's dirty. They don't like... And you know what's shifty and dirty about these dudes? They, they thieves but don't like people taking nothing from them. Here's a thief that don't like people taking stuff from them but enjoy taking things from others. Shifty, dirty dudes, man. Dude, shifty as hell, man. And some straight up cowards. Do you tell the people you stealing their money when they sending it to you? Do you tell them that before you receive the money? Like, yeah, I'm finna steal your money. Do you tell them that? No, you don't. Why? Because you a coward. Cause it's a difference between taking and stealing, which is still stealing. But at least when a person takes something from somebody, it's more direct than person and they know what's happening. So it's more respectable to some degree rather than you trying to shite than deceive. It's a difference when you're like, hey, man, give me this. See, that's different than you trying to. It's entirely different. You're a thief, man. Straight up thief and a straight up coward. Dude, move backwards. And that just show how y'all are in y'all personal life, man. You don't want to be looked at as being a dope fiend, but you're doing dope fiend moves. You don't want to tell people you ain't on drugs and doing all this, but you're doing dope fiend moves. 
Y'all brothers fake. Y'all brothers ain't even loyal to y'all self. Think of how disloyal you is. Here you is selling a brand. Here you is selling a brand. Then people spending money to buy it, and you don't even give them what they buying. You're a dirty dude, man. And it's yours. Y'all some dirty, shifty dudes, man. People shouldn't rock with y'all at all. People should just turn their back on y'all, ban y'all, cut y'all straight off, man. That's a, that's a fact. People should start doing that, man. People literally should start coming together, cutting y'all off, not supporting y'all so y'all can understand exactly what y'all doing. Then people still try to give y'all a chance. People still try to give y'all the chance and try to understand they know how it is because it's hard out here and may understand what you're going through out here. And you still shifty and dirty. Still shifty and dirty, man. They look out for you. The woman was saying, I forgot her name and I apologize. Uh, uh, what's her league called? Ultimate Battle League, UB Battle League in Peoria, Illinois. But the woman said, People was actually telling her, like, oh, you got to take that loss. You got to take no loss for nobody stealing from you, man. Whoever said that is some damn idiots, man. And that goes to show you they shifty and dirty, too. Try not to be in conversations with people over these internets. A lot of these people just troll just so that they could. People get on this internet purposely to look for drama. People come on this internet purposely to look for drama. Purposely to try to fish and see people out. They have no... Nothing going on in their personal life at all, man. This is where most of them get they, their attention from. This, uh, uh, on this internet is where a lot of people get attention from. Well, nobody really like these people, man. That's just keeping it. This stuff is sad. This stuff is sad and it is horrible, man. We, we, live, in, we live in some crazy, shady, shifty times. Black people, man, just be... Black people just make us look bad, man. Yeah, I, 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 I'm keeping it real, man. It's not only be magic them stealing. It's like every time you look around, man, we just we doing something stupid like we never had nothing, man. Look at the clout chasing ever that's taking place now, where everybody got their phones out trying to find out some way to harm and hurt somebody to go viral with, man. Look at what we do, man. Look at look at how much of a cancers we are to each other. No uplifting, no motivating, no networking, no honesty, no loyalty to yourself, your family, your children. God, this stuff is just sad and it is horrible, man. Horrible, man. I, I'm just looking at all the things that are going on around the world and just seeing how black people just act like damn savages, man. We act like straight up savages, like untamed animals and gorillas. Like, this stuff is crazy, man. I'm talking about, it's like, it's like, look at what we do with freedom. Look at what we do with freedom. I look at, I see how people speak out, how ignorant they even speak out. I'm talking about the blatant disrespect for God and life, the blatant disrespect to each other and family. I'm talking about this stuff is just sad. This is sad, sad, sad. I thank God he changed to turn my life around. I used to be like that, and I'm saying to myself, like, dang, that's crazy. I can't believe, man. I actually used to participate in that ignorance, stupidity, man. The Bible say when I was a child, I thought as a child. I act as a child. I did the things of a child. But when I became a man, I learned to put childish things away. You got these overgrown men not willing to grow up. These overgrown men and women not willing to grow up, not willing to take care of uh, 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 true responsibility, not having no honor and loyalty to anything, not even themselves. These brothers are sad, and it's a repeated cycle. Door after door after door after door continue to open up behind this ignorance and stupidity. Be magic. You are a loser. You are a straight up loser, man. You are a liar, a thief, a deceiver, a coward, and a loser. You are stealing from people. You are stealing from yourself, dude. And then you want to come and try to talk and make up excuses and reasons to justify why you take and steal from people. You will not go unpunished for your actions. Make no mistake about it. It's already probably getting you. 
But I guarantee you, brother, you will not get away with the shiftiness and dirtiness that you are doing. You a dirty dude, man. Get that woman back up damn money, man. Stop acting like a straight up sucker. Stop acting like a straight up dope thing, dude. You are lame, man. And anybody that's running off with deposits and stealing and taking from people that's trying to look out for y'all, y'all are some shifty, dirty dudes, man. Ain't nothing good gonna come out of that from y'all, man. Y'all have no idea of the harm that y'all doing to y'all self. Y'all are some shifty, dirty dudes, man, and deserve anything that's going to happen to you behind those actions.